Hi, this is James Madison. This is a recipe for raw vegan eggnog. And this is much healthier than the traditional eggnog made with milk and eggs, which actually has high cholesterol and lots of animal fats and with corn syrup and refined sugars. This recipe is made with nuts, which have plant sterols, which help lower your cholesterol and have some healthy fats and it is also sweetened with dates. I'm going to have a separate recipe on all the health benefits of the ingredients in this recipe. Um, so check that out after this video if you haven't seen it already. Okay, so the base of this recipe is going to be a half a cup of Brazil nuts, a half a cup of soaked, sprouted, or soaked almonds, raw almonds, seven medjool dates. Make sure they're soft. If they're not soft, you might want to soak them overnight. Um, we've got a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and just a small pinch of salt to make it a little bit warmer and bring up the flavor a little bit. Um, if you don't have Brazil nuts and you only have almonds, I made this recipe with almonds and it's very good. So instead of one half a cup of each, you're going to put one cup of almonds. And also, if you only have Brazil nuts, you can just make one cup of Brazil nuts and leave out the almonds. I found that actually doing half and half, it actually tastes the best. Plus, we're getting a little bit of health, different health benefits out of each nut. All right, so let me go and show you how this works. So first of all, we're going to add the almonds and the Brazil nuts to the blender. And we're going to add three cups of water. Make sure it's good water. Don't use tap water with chlorine and fluoride and all that other stuff. Add in the seven medjool dates with the pits taken out. We're going to blend this up. For quite a while, we want to get it really blended. If you, you, I recommend this blender, the Blendtec or the Vitamix, um, to really blend up the nuts and seeds properly to make a good nut milk. Okay, there you go. So now this has actually gotten a little bit warm. Now before we serve this, we're going to chill this whole recipe in the refrigerator so we don't have to worry about that. Now if you're making it for yourself or if you don't mind, I actually leave, I don't filter this, I just continue on with the recipe. But I'm making this for guests and I'm trying to make it taste very close to real eggnog. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use this thing called a nut milk bag. And this is a very fine meshed bag that um, it's made out of a food grade nylon. And what we're going to do is we need a nice big mixing bowl. We'll pour this in here. We're going to have to um, squeeze all of the juice out of this, out of the bag here. And we're going to end up with a sweet nut milk. And actually this is really delicious just by itself if you want to um, if you want to make a nut milk without making it taste like eggnog. My favorite nut milk bag is from Pure Joy Planet. If you don't have one already, go visit my friend Kristen Taylor's webpage, BeGreenFoods.com. Okay, there we go. So what I do is I save this. I've squeezed this really good. I save this pulp and I throw it into smoothies later and also you can add some more ingredients back to it like some more dates and some different seasoning and you can make like raw crackers and dehydrate them. Okay, I rinsed out the blender and now what we're going to do is we're going to pour that nut milk back into the blender and we want to add the remaining ingredients. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a small pinch of salt, about a sixteenth of a teaspoon. Then we're going to blend it up again. And there we have it. Fresh, raw, vegan eggnog. So when we serve this, before we serve this, we want to chill this in the refrigerator because it tastes much better. And the other thing we want to do is take just a little bit of nutmeg and sprinkle it on the top. 
it kind of gives for decoration, plus it gives it a nice fragrance. All right, you guys, have a great holiday and check out the other video where I explain the health benefits of the ingredients in this recipe and why this is much healthier than traditional eggnog. So you guys have a great day. Always before you eat anything, think about what you're eating and what health benefits it's going to have for your body. Okay, that's the hint for the day. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for watching.